So I am right now in my library management application where the manage.py file is. Uh, since you already uh, have some idea of navigating, uh, I, I leave the navigation up to you. Uh, but whenever I mention that uh, you need to be in the folder with manage.py, this is the folder that I'm talking about, uh, the topmost folder. Uh, in case, so I, I noticed that a lot of folks still had issues with navigation. So command line navigation is generally new to folks with GUI, uh, a habit of using the GUI. Uh, I'd recommend that, uh, you know, uh, the, the idea here is to start learning uh, the whole Django concept. So uh, it is obviously difficult to pick up on uh, the command line side of things. So please feel free to just open up your, uh, uh, like your Windows Explorer and then start using, you know, start navigating from there. It's not like uh, we don't want you to be struggling with the command line just because uh, we want you to use the command line. Uh, what else? Um, all right, let me see. I am now set up. Uh, cool. Uh, so, step two will be, uh, so what I'll do is I will launch my Anaconda Navigator and, and use Spider for my purposes. So, Anaconda Navigator, you don't have to do this. Uh, if you have sort of found uh, that Notepad EXE works well for you, uh, perfectly fine. Just use your Windows Explorer and Notepad. Uh, I'll let, I'll give it a minute for Anaconda uh, to, to sort of boot up. Uh, So what are we going to do next? We are going to uh, build the models. So uh, as you already are aware, uh, the models.py file is located in your library manager folder. Please go to your library manager folder and open the models.py file. Uh, let's see, where is, where is spider? Jupyter Lab is also quite good these days, but again, completely up to you. Okay, so Spider, it looks like is decided not to. Ah, cool. I was afraid that it was decided not to cooperate, but anyway. Uh, so I will open up uh, the models.py file in in my editor, which is Spider in this case. So open, go back. Is everything going to take so long? Um, right. So my models.py file is located here, and I open that. And like you can, like your views.py file, uh, your uh, models.py file is also empty. Uh, what you need to do here is if any of you have gone through the, if any of you gone through the uh, uh, oops concepts in Yaksh, you'll know that uh, uh, this is how we define a class. A class is defined as a book, uh, and uh, we inherit from a base class called models dot model. So um, I'll create a class called book, which is uh, which is going to be a class that inherits from models dot model base class, and I will now define attributes or variables right so i'll define very basic variables like title i will then define uh, i'll then define a 
model method called carefield and give it an argument called max length and i'll tell you what this means with a capital f yeah sorry character field character field yes uh, so what can be relevant to a book let's say a title is relevant and author author is also relevant so let's say author name publisher again i'll give it a max length of 255 uh you can give it a little less but i think so the max uh, is around this number um and then we'll give it something like a text field for say description right so a description will carry a summary of what the book is about and this will be a text field type thing right so so right so we have our first model set up uh, we've imported the models base uh, module we've then uh, created a class called book and then we've defined certain attributes now how now if you remember we spoke about how uh, the models was a representation of your uh, database and we use an object relational mapper so your book object or your book class is what maps to a table in your database which is why we are using a backend system called an object relational mapper so it is mapping your python class to a table in your database right uh, the orm works in the background so you don't need to worry about that what you need to worry about is how you define your classes and how you define your tables uh, you define them by creating a class and each class being a table uh, what do you think title author name and descriptions uh, refer to in 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 sql language what would these be if book is a table what is a title author name and description attributes uh, in an sql table what would they be no fine no problem so uh, in in sql uh, these would be the columns right uh, okay. an sql table is a tab data format so if you have a table a table should contain columns and the columns uh, uh, describe properties of every row so you have multiple rows of data each will have a title author name and a description right yeah so with this done um again you remember we spoke about migrations so we will go back we'll save this file obviously uh we will then go back to the command line and uh again like i said uh, if you can see my screen properly sir please like i uh, said screen uh, models.py screen okay uh okay fine have a look um, i'll wait for a moment uh let's do one thing i'll paste this in chat this is your complete models dot py file i'll paste it here i hope that works uh no copy pasting has a uh, really bad disadvantage is that you'll have to manage the spaces and the tabs yourself so please be careful if anything is going wrong make sure that your spaces tabs are correctly set uh i think you can you can just pick up the code from the chat i pasted it there so going back to going back to the command line i am in the folder that contains manage.py why because i'm going to run a manage.py command i'll run a command called python i just the command is python space manage dot py space uh, make migration right so what you have done is you have created a model because you created a fresh model uh, the migration file that tells the database to do some change to itself or the schema 
does not yet exist. Uh, to bring it into existence, uh, you will have to run this command called make migrations. Uh, so please copy this command into your command line. And once you save your model.py file, you can execute this. Uh, please execute it and wait. Do not ask for why this output looks this way. I'll show you what the output looks like. In the meantime, has everyone reached this point where they've copy pasted the model.py code and can execute the make migration uh, part of the command line command? Any issues still here? Not able to copy the code. Okay. I don't know why, but I cannot. Uh, I'm not sure how I can help you. Uh, you can go into chat settings and check whether do we have access or not. Oh. Check out the settings part once. It's not like I have a lot of access here anyway, but video, video, general video, nine participants. Background. Nope. What was the command? Uh, manage dot pi make migration. Make migrations. I have also pasted that in the chat. So okay. I paste it again. Okay, okay. I'll let you put it. Some people, for some people, it says no changes detected. So anyone who is getting no changes detected, uh, you can tell me if, if that is the case. Please make sure that you save the file. Make sure that you change the correct models.py. Make sure by now, I think you understand the sensitivity of being in the right place at the right time. So you should be in the right folder in the right project uh, and running the command. So in case you're getting no changes detected, uh, let's see, let let, uh, let me run first and, and see if uh, uh, I didn't so have a have to brain. In folder of library manager to run this command. Or library no, manager. you have to run it. You have to run it where your manage.py is located. Manage.py is located above all of these, okay. right? So uh, you can see from the output that I got, you should get something similar to this. You should get migrations for library manager, library manager slash migration something something created a model book, which is what we did, right? If you're not getting this, uh, then please let me know, and we can try to figure it out. It is most likely that you're not uh, you've not saved your models.py file. Your models.py file is not in the right location. You are in not in the right location. Uh, otherwise, this should uh, this doesn't uh, need rocket science to be very honest. Uh, cool. Vesh, now uh, can you please make uh, like sort of run these checks first and then get back to us if you still can't figure it out. Uh, in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll show you what the migration looks like. So, for example, uh, can someone tell me where the migrations folder was? And I'll I'll follow your command this time around. Can someone switch on their mic and let me know where they can find the migrations folder? The library manager. Correct. So your library manager is your application. The database that you're, the table that you're creating is specific to the library manager app. Uh, databases are specific to a, to a project. Tables generally are specific to uh, 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 a particular app. So you go into library manager and uh, you don't need to do this. I'm just showing this. Please do not, like, you don't need to move around a lot. Uh, it, it can get difficult at times. So it's, it's not necessary you have to go in and look i'm just showing you that uh, so this is how the migration folder looks right now uh, it, earlier it was empty now we have something called uh, 0001 initial.py uh, it 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 is like uh, it is like a file that tells the database what to do. So, for example, where is spider? Uh, I can 
open that as well. So migrations. And you can see that it is also has its own class and it is telling the database that, you know, these are the dependencies. If there were any earlier migrations, it'll tell it that these are the dependencies. It'll tell it what to do. So it'll tell it to create a model. And the name is a book and these are the fields that you need to create. Any changes, anything that you do to a models.py file, you have to save it and create a migration. Unless you create a migration and migrate your database, uh, things will not reflect in your database and uh, your application is bound to crash, right? Going back one level, things are not done yet. Uh, please run uh, the migrate command. So Python, this you already know, Python manage.py migrate. Uh, and it'll tell you that we are applying this 001 initial migration. And if this has run properly and your output looks like this and it says, okay, then everything is a-okay and it runs properly, right? I'll again go back and wait for you folks. So uh, this is about it. Your model is now created. Uh, if we uh, want to uh, see it in, so generally models, anything on the database side interactions, uh, they should show up in admin.py, uh, but let's see if that happens, right? So you don't need to do this again. I'm just showing you uh, a sample of what happens. So I'm running my server like uh, Prathamesh did countless times before this. Uh, let's run the server and run the admin. Uh, now I remember that I don't have a create super user that I remember of. So what I'll do is I will create my own. I'll call him admin one, two, three. And uh, I'll run my server again. Right. So uh, if you folks can see, we do have the Django administrating uh, administration interface, but it looks like it always looked like, right? So there's no change here. Now I want to make sure that like groups and users, I should be able to also see the books option here so that I can maybe see what books there are, maybe add a few books. And like I mentioned before, a basic create, read, update, delete uh, operations should be possible from here. So able to be able to do that, uh, there is one step that remains. So you've changed your model, you've created your migration. To be able to view those things in, in your admin, you'll see that your library manager has a small file called admin.py, which also does not have a lot of stuff inside it. Let's, let's go back. Does it have it? I don't think so it comes by default, does it? Yes, it does come by default. You have a file called admin.py. Let's open up and see how that looks like. So in my spider file, I open another file called admin.py. And as expected, it's empty. So what do we do here? We will try to see if we can uh, get the book model to show up in our admin. To be able to do that, I will do, I'll, I'll maximize this stuff again. I'll do from dot model uh, dot models import book. Why? Because I want to I want to be able to uh, work with the book class, right? Uh, rest of the stuff is uh, already imported, so you don't need to import it. You need to register something with the admin dot py file uh, because the admin dot py file wants to know which model you want to look at. So a register method is used to tell the admin.py file that look, I want this to be rendered on the admin interface, right? So I'll paste this code as well. I'm not sure if you folks can still copy paste or not, but I'll still for reference, paste it uh, there. So that at least you can look at it while
right uh once that is done uh let's go back to our command line and uh, as usual uh because you want to see what's happening on the server i'll run the server i am not in the right folder so i go upstairs i check again and then i run the command i run the command i go back to my browser where my admin site was open uh, hopefully it should not ask me to log in again yeah it doesn't ask me to log in again because it's maintained that client side session but you can obviously see that uh, the books option has shown up here uh it uh, it gives you the app name here so library manager is the name of my app so there's a new panel with the app name and any models related to library manager which i add to models.py will show up here if i register them with the admin.py file uh has everyone reached this point so let me go back to zoom no sir yes sir uh, are you stuck somewhere are you still typing if you're still typing i can wait are you still typing is that is that it is that the problem or yes sir like, i'm still I'm typing stuck somewhere okay cool mm. I don't know. No one can. Absolutely, no one can copy. Are they taking? I don't know if are they there. What would you like to see on the console? Uh, the admin wala section, like how did you add? Yes, sir, it's working. Ah, okay. Code. You want to see the code? Sir, I got it. Okay. No, no. The command for admin. uh so there was no command for admin there was a migrations command so have you run the migrations they are done right mm -hmm. right so i just ran the python manage.py run server command to run the uh, web server and then so open add slash admin here right someone was asking so can you show the code Right. Sir, can you share this code for models. py? Uh, are you able to copy it from the chat? No, sir. Okay. Mm. I'll share this paste. May hopefully you can copy from it, but please don't edit it because I think so it is completely publicly editable. <sighs> right. So, uh, who all have reached the point where they have completed typing models and admin? Yes, sir. And can see the stuff in admin. Yes, sir. Okay. Who all are still sort of typing and still finishing up? They are still doing. Right. So, uh, if 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 typing takes a lot of time, you can just use this link and copy the relevant parts. I've pasted the admin and the uh, models code in that link. I think you should be able to copy paste. Just don't edit anything. Don't save anything. Just copy it from that paste that uh, that box. Right. I uh, broke the chain. Uh, first, we have to put that into uh, this uh, file, which is called uh, models. And uh, what what 
what next to be done so you have to uh, one second you have to edit your models.py create the model okay that's done then you then you run this command which is make migrations okay theek okay. then you after that you are after that you are supposed to migrate which is this command and uh, you can then edit your admin.py okay. with the same code that is there in that link above okay. you can then go to your admin slash admin website and then you can check if it is showing up or not uh, obviously it will show up so it's not like you need to check but just to make sure right okay uh, just a minute uh, so uh, we may fall short of time so uh, i'd suggest that in case i don't mind like uh, this is not a typing contest anyway so i don't mind if you copy i'll give you the link to the text so i'll keep editing that same link and i'll keep adding the code there you can copy it from there just don't change anything in that little interface uh just just uh, pick up the code for model from there for admin from there only uh, it looks like folks are not able to copy from the chat no need to keep typing right uh let's go back to the site admin interface so uh, am i still running my server yes my server is active and running if if you click on books uh you should come to a listing page a listing page is the one where you can see all the books uh in in a listed format uh this is basically exact uh, fancier you know sort of representation of an sql book table uh just that you can do a lot of stuff here uh anywhere you are you can add a new book so you can add a book here uh it lasts you for the title author name and description uh like we like we spoke about this is a 255 character long uh field you have author name again and you have text field so text field so basically the fields that we give in models they are used for database validation for example the char field limit is is validated so i can't add anything more than 255 characters it is also used for rendering so anything that you render as a form or a field in your html or on the admin uh the different fields will give you different values so there are there is a date time field which also gives you a fancy calendar here which you can set the date time with you have number and integer fields so that you know you can't add characters over there for now we have just used characters so uh let's type in how to automate stuff uh anyway so uh interesting book is the description i think i remember al schweigart being the author right so i can save i can save and add another so it keeps me on the same interface i can even save and keep continuing to edit so let's say i save and continue editing it'll keep me on the same uh, page it'll tell me that you know the book object has been saved uh, i can say interesting book uh, lots of lots of practical project and i save it again and go back to my listing page so it shows a uh, book object right i can add another book so let's say this is uh lord of the rings j r r tolkien uh this is a fantasy novel right and i save it so um, it it now saves something with book object 2 which is the the default uh, string representation of that object but you now have two books uh, you can interact with them you can go back edit stuff save it you can delete it from here etc etc so this is like i mentioned before uh, it's a very uh, i mean it's a very decent uh, interface to sort of do very basic stuff so for example if you have if you have like uh, if you need a basic interface to just enter marks for students etc uh, just an admin.py and a django server will do the job for you you don't need to have your own interface you don't need to create your own html etc etc but uh, in cases where you need your own like 
you want to create your own interface uh, there it does make sense so that is why we learn about the render function and html etc right so this is about it with models uh, uh, you 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 now created a model you can now interact with it and you can uh, uh, add or delete objects from the admin interface there's another way to do this uh, and it's a slightly advanced way of dealing with uh, uh, the model uh, i'll just show you a sample of that you don't need to try this please don't go into the uh, command line because then it will again you will have to come out of it and you may change something unexpectedly but uh, there's a command called uh, if you remember prathamesh talking about it there was a command called shell s h e l l uh, this is a command line shell so like python has a console or a python has a python shell this is a django shell what the django shell does is it gives you an interactive uh, shell to sort of interact with objects within python within the django uh, module so for example uh, let's see let's see if i can import the models here so from dot i think so models dot models will not work but let's try import book right so this is not a global so i'll have to type from library manager i think and then dot models import book this has to work yes this works right so what i've done is i've imported the book model here now i can uh, interact with the table from here as well but this is programmatically interacting with it i use python code to interact with it so book dot objects dot all is the uh, django way of asking or running a query in sql and getting all the books so if i run this it will give me a query set the query set will contain all of the books that i have in my database what can i do with this uh, i can use it like any python object so for example if i save it to uh, 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 if i save it to a python variable i am sure you all been through this in in the basics of python i have saved it to a python variable now i can even iterate over it so for b in all books uh, i just print the name the i just print the name of the book so print b dot uh, what was the title so you can see that it printed out the titles of the two books that i already have right so this is a shell similar to a python shell which allows you to interactively uh, run some code which you want to test so this is very useful when you are uh, writing out code and you want to quickly check if this works or not etc so that is one way uh, this is how you this is how you interact with the sql in python code as well uh, we'll we'll do that very soon let's go back to our code there is a model.py i'll open up the very familiar views.py now because now that we have defined the models now that we have defined the templates uh, we want to now in our views what we will do is we will fetch all the books what i did on the what i just did on the console i'll want to do it here so that i can send it to my template and my template can show it to the user right i want to be able to do all of that so let's just edit the code here for for a bit um, and we'll do the same thing right so we will import from from dot models import book and we will store all books in a variable called book dot sorry we we'll store all the books in a variable called all books we will get the books from the database by querying it so i do a book dot objects dot all uh, 
this is just like i mentioned this is just a way of querying the database uh, it is a it is a very specific syntax so you just need to follow along with that syntax um, and i will then so i can then directly just pass on so uh, the dictionary that you see where you previously sent math and python books is basically the dictionary that contains all the information that you want to pass to your uh, uh template so here i want to say uh, all books i'll use the same variable so that i remember my variables well in all all books is my key and all books that is this variable is also my value right and we'll save it i copy paste this code in the same little uh tool that i had shared with you so let's go there where is that right save new version and so oh, nice anyway so now i'll share the new link with you folks so you can see the views code in this link that i've just sent please copy paste that and once you're done please let me know in the meantime i'll keep my templates file open so that i can quickly edit it is anyone having any issues up till this point or am i just may only uh, b shake is facing some issue i guess okay b shake no such table library manager book error is showing so that is happening because you either did not uh, run make migrations or you did not run migrations after make migration so your database doesn't have that table and because it doesn't have that table uh, it it will not work right vaishnav can you share your screen and we'll try to solve your problem in the meantime uh, is anyone having any issues till here were they able to change the code were they able to change the admin code were they able to change the views.py code please just let me know please feel free to copy the code from the link that i pasted uh, please don't spend time typing wait now can you share your screen please am i audible okay can you run the command again make migration up arrow and enter right so you are in django project library management uh django project library management python no, that is a command can you show me your models.py file uh what was the chronology uh, you change your you already done your models you already uh, migrated your uh, database you will then change your admin.py file and be able to see your book model in your admin after that you will change your views.py file and i'll tell you what to do next so please change your views.py file and just wait for us there uh, so don't open your manage.py file open your models.py file right now migrate command was python manage.py migrate python space manage.py space migrate sir it's make migration or migrate first you have to run make migrations so python space manage.py space make migrations second you have to run python space manage.py space migrate admin panel is not opening for me 404 is coming 404 can you check are you sure i'm sorry to ask this but are you sure that the server is running i think it is running because uh, slash books is coming actually uh, sorry slash book uh, this local host slash books slash books is, is working uh, that's working so can you check i mean it should be slash admin okay i'll, I'll check it out uh, sir uh, sir uh, make migration ki command run करने के बाद नो चेंजेस डिटेक्टेड का मैसेज आया राइट यू कैन हेल्प मी यू कैन हेल्प मी फिगर दिस आउट मे बी सो वैष्णव हैड अ मॉडल डॉट पीवाई फाइव सेव प्रॉब्लम 
can you check your models.py and make sure that you saved the information that we talked about the code did you save it i can you check your models.py file yes sir prince i do not know how to handle permissions in windows looks like you don't have enough permissions uh what you can do is you can launch your uh, uh, command line you know your command line is not launched with administrator permission if you close your command line and relaunch it with administrator permissions or if you launch your anaconda with administrator permissions you should be able to access it it's possible that you don't have administrator level permissions right uh, puja i guess if my you check and you know if that my cmd is opened by administrator only okay so with dir you can see the file right yeah with dir i can see the template file what is the command that you are running it must be uh, open uh, somewhere else like that what it must be is it open somewhere else no no it is not open i am writing command like notepad.exe uh, space templates the file name no templates is not the file name it's a oh, directory folder oh i have to go inside that you can give you a back type the full path template backslash uh, my library manager backslash books dot html oh okay thank you sir it's not getting books uh, link in my admin i'm getting groups and users correct so have you uh, you will have to edit the admin.py so you can see in that same link that i sent you with the code there is an admin section with the admin.py code paste paste it in admin.py once you have pasted it in admin.py and save it you will be able to see it automatically in your admin section okay. uh, pooja can you show me your models.py please ah uh, yes sir sir screen is visible na sorry i can see your screen i was just checking the path of the file can you please switch back to your command line i would like to check the path there as well if you if you are comfortable please share the whole screen it becomes easy to switch between windows you don't have to constantly change so i'll not be able to see the text maybe because it is too small so pooja can you compare the path that you are at here which is w pro library management okay can you go to the models can you say notepad.exe space library underscore manager backslash models.py uh, let's check model file hi show karni na sir na aapko so got the book link what to do next not the book link cool so can you please uh, make the changes to the views.py it is there in the same file that i sent okay can you make changes to your views.py file now okay are ma'am ha to mujhe abhi so i am i am under doubt whether this is the correct file or not so can you just run the notepad.exe command and we'll see if it reflects there because you are running the command there right so it will be more convenient to understand what is going wrong so the books.html we are anyway going to edit so once i edit and show you then i'll send you the code also please wait sir yahi pe open karni hai na file ha yahan pe aapko notepad.exe space models.py nahi chalega aapko library underscore manager backslash models.py aisa dena padega tab शायद कर दो तो यस सही जा रहे हो कर लो कर लो नहीं चल रहा ना तो चल गया फाइल ओपन हो गई आई गेस इट्स ऑन डिफरेंट स्क्रीन बट शुड बी शेयर इट डिफरेंटली Maybe that's fine. So you don't need to show me, I guess. But I think I know what is going wrong. So you can check the, you can switch to that screen if you want to. Uh, at the same time, Pooja, can you also check your settings.py and tell me if it is 
if library manager is there in the right install dot apps directory sir changes done to the view files next yes thank you just wait for a minute and uh, should i run the server and check the output again uh no it will not show up Ach, okay. but but you can try to run it it will tell you if the code was correct or not or it will throw an error okay i'll do that ni ma'am to aapne jo models.py khola wo to mujhe dikha nahi pata nahi kya hua sir wo file open ho gayi thi models.py ki screen pe हाँ ओपन तो हो गई मुझे उसके अंदर क्या था वो देखना था तो आपका स्विच हुआ नहीं था स्क्रीन तो मुझे दिखा नहीं उसमें क्या थे आप okay, okay, करेंगे तो वही कमांड आ जाएगा आप पैरो सर स्क्रीन विजिबल हुआ आपको नहीं हुआ मुझे आपका वो कमांड लाइन ही दिखते रहता है आप जब शेयर स्क्रीन करते हो ना तो शायद आपको एक एंटायर स्क्रीन वाला ऑप्शन आता है नीचे तो एंटायर स्क्रीन करोगे तो आपको ये स्विचिंग वाला बिजनेस करने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ी शायद हाँ माइग्रेट भी माइग्रेट रन नहीं हुआ है शायद बराबर तो हाँ तो ये हो गया आपका ये ऑथर नेम बराबर तो आपका ये जो ऑथर नेम है उसका जो इंडेंटेशन है वो थोड़ा हिला हुआ है शायद तो वो थोड़ा फिक्स कर दीजिए स्पेस 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 चार स्पेस चाहिए उसमें ठीक है फिर ठीक है आप फिगर आउट कर लीजिए वो है शायद सेव कर दीजिए सेव करने के बाद मेक माइग्रेशन फिर माइग्रेट फिर चल जाना चाहिए आपको अरे क्या हुआ बस स्पेस डाल दो बराबर जी अभी मतलब आपको ऐसा ये करने की जरूरत नहीं एक बार मेक माइग्रेशन फिर माइग्रेट करके देख लीजिए कोई एरर नहीं आना चाहिए बस फिर चल जाना चाहिए नो चेंजेस डिटेक्टेड मेक माइग्रेशन के बाद अभी भी आ रहा है क्या यस कैन यू शो मी कैन यू चेक इन योर सेटिंग्स डॉट मुझे दिखाने की जरूरत नहीं सेटिंग्स डॉट पी वाई में इंस्टॉल्ड एप्स में आपका एप है लेट मी चेक ओ हां आ सर इंस्टॉल्ड एप में लाइब्रेरी मैनेजर है हां जी तो एक काम कीजिए ये कमांड डाला हुआ है चैट में वो थोड़ा रन कर दीजिए एक बार पाइथन मैनेज डॉट पी वाई मेक माइग्रेशन स्पेस ऐप का नाम तो जो भी ऐप का नाम है वो डाल दीजिए लास्ट में और वो रन कर दीजिए और बता दीजिए कि वो चल रहा है कि नहीं इन द मीन टाइम एनी वन हु इज नॉट बीन एबल टू रीच द व्यूज डॉट पी वाई फाइल एडिट पोर्शन अपार्ट फ्रॉम पूजा ऑब्वियसली मीन सर मैं अभी मेक माइग्रेशन के साथ लाइब्रेरी अंडर स्कोर मैनेजर रन कर रहा हूँ हाँ वो भी रन कर दीजिए मतलब उसी कमांड में स्पेस करके वो करना है स्पेस और फिर वो नाम हाँ ज्योति बंसल इज फेसिंग एन इश्यू विद ऑपरेशनल एरर नो सच टेबल इफ यू गेटिंग नो सच टेबल दैट मीन्स योर माइग्रेशन डिडन वर्क आइर इट इज नॉट वर्क बिकॉज ऑफ सम एरर इन योर कोड और यू नॉट रन द मेक माइग्रेशन or you not run the migrate command please run make migrations please run migrate please make sure that your code is correct and then tell me if it is still not working if it is uh, if the make migrations gives you similar output like puja for example no changes detected please try this library manager add library manager at the end and run it and then check again excuse yes. me sir sir it's showing no module named models sir after typing manage.py make migrations please check the code that i sent so my code is here my code is available here please compare your code with this uh, it will be difficult to look into everyone's code file at the moment i am trying to 
see if we can complete this in some time so sir it's not working not working nice uh yaar ye to ajeeb hai settings wali file mein aapko visible hai installed apps mein ab ji library manager hai wahan pe models ki file mein bhi sab theek hai but yahan pe message nahi de raha hai आप मुझे गारंटी के साथ बोल सकते हैं कि जहाँ पे आप रन कर रहे हो और जहाँ पे आपका वो फाइल है वो सब सेम है सब सेम है नोट पैड में तो दिखाया था हाँ ओके सो यू डन योर माइग्रेशन ऑलरेडी आई गेस डू माइग्रेट मैं अननेसेसरली आपको गोल गोल घुमा रहा हूँ माइग्रेट कर दो माइग्रेट शुड आई रन रन सर्वर का मानना डेट द थिंग वर्क नो माइग्रेशन टू अप्लाई अरे यार ये कैसे हो गया आई थिंक यू ऑलरेडी रन दिस बिफोर एंड यू ट्राइंग टू रन इट अगेन इट्स नॉट वर्किंग ना मैंने आपको वही दिखाया था फर्स्टली मेक माइग्रेशन में भी नो चेंजेस डिटेक्टेड आ रहा है फाइल से रन सर्वर करके देखिए अगर रन सर्वर में नहीं चल रहा मतलब ऑलरेडी है बुक्स सो अंकित तो है तो है सही then it will never detect changes इससे और कुछ माइग्रेट होने नहीं वाला था आप ऑलरेडी थे यहाँ पे आई डोंट आई डोंट नो व्हाट यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग बट इट्स फाइन यू आर ऑलरेडी देयर आपको बस अभी इसके बाद व्यूज डॉट पी वाई वाला कोड लेना है उस कोड वाले स्निपेट से एंड यू टू पेस्ट इट इन व्यूज डॉट पी वाई ठीक है सो पूजा यू आर ऑन पॉइंट आई थिंक यू आर जस्ट टाइम टू रन द कमांड मल्टीपल टाइम सो इट इट शोड यू समथिंग दैट यू आर नॉट एक्सपेक्टिंग सर अब जो आपने बताया है ओके okay. आप भूल जाइए मैंने जो बोला आप यूज डॉट पी वाई में जो कोड मैंने लिंक भेजा है वो पेस्ट कर दीजिए और एंड विल मूव फॉरवर्ड यू यू आर ऑन पॉइंट यू आर एट ऑन लाइक यू आर यू आर ऑलरेडी विथ अस बट यू जस्ट डोंट नो दैट यू आर विथ अस सो डोंट वरी यू जस्ट कॉपी पेस्ट द यूज डॉट पी वाई फाइल ठीक है तो ये हो गया अभी जाते हैं टेम्पलेट में तो टेम्पलेट में लाइक प्रथमेश टोल्ड यू हीट क्रिएटेड लिस्ट ऑफ बुक्स एंड हीट क्रिएटेड टू बुक्स एट द मोमेंट व्हाट वी वांट इज वी वांट दिस टू बी डायनामिक वी डोंट वांट दिस टू बी समथिंग वेयर शेयर माय स्क्रीन आई फॉर्गॉट डेट आई स्टॉप शेयरिंग माई स्क्रीन सो गो बैक टू द बुक्स डॉट एस पेज and please open the books.html in any favorite text editor of yours once you open that uh we want to edit it uh in spider or wherever you are and we want to make sure that uh the multiple books that i'm sending it from my database are showing up properly right so i'll i'll use the same code that uh, prathamesh had typed so he ha already had an ordered list i'm just making it a little fancier right so uh, what i'm doing is i'm just editing it so that i can uh, i can dynamically push the books that i get into the template and then be able to render it this is called uh, this is called templating uh, basically on the server so this is called server side templating on the server itself the web application the django framework takes the data that we sent it from the views it picks out all those objects pushes them into uh, the right slots in the html template and then creates a complete full html file and throws it back at the browser 
and the browser then shows you something right so this is called server side rendering people who are asking about you know uh, node js etc node js is a client side framework so it does a lot of the client side rendering etc whereas django being a server side framework it does a lot of things on the server side um, so what we'll do is i'll maximize my text size we already have a list of books title uh, we have ordered list now you remember that uh, prathamesh told you that there are some advanced uh, programming language like syntax so we have something which is similar to the python for loop in jinja jinja is a templating language here uh, it gives you some nice advanced features to sort of type stuff in so you remember that in views.py i had sent a context context is what is what is sent to the template so if i if i sent this dictionary to my library.manager.books.html template this variable is available to books right so my all books is a variable my all books should be uh, accessible and uh, i will iterate over it using the book variable and then create a list of books right so if you do this you should be able to get a list of the books right so for example uh you do this and save it uh, let me see if my server is running server is not yeah, running yeah, end for end for tech yes 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 so let's see what happens if i don't have an end for time right uh, my admin works fine but i now want to go to the books url right you remember that the books url corresponds to the book.html and it tells me that there is a template syntax error so there was some syntax that i used but it is it is becoming problem so i go back i fix it uh, so here unlike uh, python you need an end end for keyword because the the templating language should know that your template uh, jinja for loop has ended so i added an end for and then should work let's see if something else busts up right so we have book object 1 and book object 2 which is what we were able to see on the admin side as well but uh, this unfortunately doesn't give me a lot of information anyway because uh, you know it's very uh, i don't know which book it is right it's just one and two how, how do i make out stuff like this for this uh, there are different ways to do it for example the easiest way right now is you can do book dot title because book is the object uh, book is the model uh, you know the model instance and the model object it has a property called title which is the title column so you can do this and it should automatically render properly which is the name similarly you can uh, do all kinds of interesting stuff so you can pipe and uh, you know just basically have some fancy text and now i also want to know the author so now i have book dot author name right and i save this and this renders here uh this is this is very fast because it is just doing html rendering and this is a very dumb stupid simple html page complex html pages would would you know sort of need some time and not be so quick but this is what you can do so uh, to walk you through the syntax here uh, you can see that there's a curly brace percentage and there's a curly brace percentage at the end and we are using a for loop there's an end for loop uh, there's also like similarly there's uh, there's also an if tag so if you have if you want to do an if uh, check you can also do curly braces percentage if book equal equals uh how to automate uh end with percentage curly brace you can then have 
some value like hello and then you can do an end if like end for there will be an end if there's there's a lot of these nifty sort of programmatic syntaxes we'll not go into a lot of detail because uh, it, it it has its own little world of syntax uh, but this is one sample django uh, django documentation has a very good list of uh, syntactical tricks that you can have in jinja uh, no i don't want to save so you've done this now right and you saved it so i'll copy paste this code as well so that you can check this out and try it on your own so if you go to books dot html and you type in this code and you save it you should be able to get something useful right sorry that last thing was bad correct um so i'll sort of because you've already overshot uh, the time by about half an hour i think this is a good point to stop uh, this gives you a very uh, very good idea of uh, what django does uh, there are a lot more things that we were not able to cover in the sense that uh, there's a lot more interaction that you can have you can have form based interaction so for like for example you filled in you filled in a form for the book right on admin interface you can also build a very simple form on html pages and then have it interact with your views and models to be able to enter some data or extract some data uh that's a little more slightly more complex but uh, it it's uh, it's it's a bare bones uh, html feature like it's a bare bones web app feature itself uh maybe uh i'll drop in more uh i'll drop in more like documentation later on if if we can django also has a tutorial on this uh but uh, please can you copy paste the code in books.html and please check if it works for you if it doesn't i can stay around and check uh you can also try uh, to add more books and you will see that it renders more books on that html page this is something that you can try for now i'll stay around uh we'll stay around for maybe 15 to 20 more minutes prathamesh if that's okay with you also yes yes definitely i think jyoti had some error so she is done yeah she solved the problem suraj was asking about the views code uh, suraj you can look into the same link that i have pasted after your comment it also contains a views code uh, you can use it to copy paste sir can we leave इतनी जल्दी हो गई ठीक है वर यू एबल टू रन द कोड इन योर एच टी एम एल फाइल एंड सी द आउटपुट यस सो समन आज दैट लाइब्रेरी मैनेजर डॉट व्यूज डॉट बुक्स फाइन सो फॉर फोक्स हु फोक्स हु लाइक हैव बीन एबल टू डू दिस एंड वॉन्ट टू लीव दे कैन लीव आई स्टिल बी अराउंड टू शॉर्ट ऑफ सॉल्व डाउट्स फॉर सेल्वा कुमार कैन यू प्लीज शेयर योर स्क्रीन सर ankit sir i uh, missed the last lag what i did was i copy the paste and copy pasted the code you sent and uh, what, what to check what to check out of it because i was busy somewhere else actually missed that last portion uh, so basically agar aapne wo books.html change kar diya file ha ji so your books.html should now show you the same books that you have entered in your admin.py okay. agar aap jaoge aur uh, wapas kuch aur naye books add karoge to naye books bhi dikh jayenge तो वो थोड़ा डायनामिक सा पेज हो गया जहाँ पे आपका डेटाबेस से फेच होके वो ऐड हो रहा है ठीक है ठीक है। तो तो सेल्वो कुमार, यू 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 आर, आर, नॉट एडेड मच ऑफ़ द कोड, सो कैन शो मी व्यूज़ डॉट पी वाई आई हैव डुप्लीकेट फाइल इन बुक सर आई चेंज इट नो प्रॉब्लम थैंक यू Uh, for abhishek book is not defined error is showing so you have not imported your books properly somewhere so it is possible that i may not have pasted the import code uh, so please uh, check if you imported the books model so dot model from dot model is import book aisa kahin na kahin to hona chahiye please please check 
सर वी डिस्क्रिप्शन इज नॉट एन एरर एज इन आप सॉरी सर वो डिस्क्रिप्शन नहीं आ रही मतलब आई मिस्ड द कोडिंग पार्ट ऑफ इट तो दैट वाज नॉट पार्ट तो आपको टाइटल तो आ रही है बराबर हां वो आ रहा है वो आ रहा है वो आ रहा है हां जी वो आ रहा है तो टाइटल आप अगर कोड में देखोगे तो बुक डॉट टाइटल है तो उससे टाइटल आ जाती है मतलब आपने टाइटल वाला उसका जो फील्ड है वो यूज कर लिया अगर आप उसके बाजू में लिख देते हो बुक डॉट ऑथर नेम तो ऑथर नेम आ जाएगा आप अगर बुक डॉट डिस्क्रिप्शन कर दोगे तो वो आ जाएगा तो ये सही है ठीक है सर अभी सूरज यू आर गेटिंग लिस्ट ऑफ बुक्स ऑल बुक्स सो योर एच टी एम एल इज नॉट करेक्ट You have not put the curly braces properly, or you have not ended the for loop properly. कुछ ना कुछ तो गड़बड़ है. Please check the code. Please compare it with the code that I pasted up upstairs. Uh, for Saubagya also, uh, you have not probably changed the books HTML properly. Please check. Vaishnav as well, can you please check your HTML code and compare it with this URL that I sent earlier? कॉजिंग अ प्रॉब्लम Please fix the indentation also now that you have done this. So correct, and it should work. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm, yeah. Ayush. Ah uh, yes. Uh, to uh, to uh, to pass the data or to uh, fill. Data that we have uh, actually in the case of books, yeah, uh, we have used the interface of uh, Django. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, Django interface. Uh, because mostly uh, for web apps, uh, we need an interface, not to add. We can yes. we can do it with a command also from shell. And it showed na Python manage dot yes. shell. Yeah, from there also we can create a object, and we. can do it from the inter interface is the uh, like user friendly thing user -friendly. so yeah okay yeah. sir i can add book i can delete books uh, is there anything else we can try uh, editing book will uh, also work okay. yeah those those are the three basic operations no we tend to do and this Ed deletion was a part of a package uh, we didn't work on deletion actually neither on it. Sorry, sorry. What? Ah, uh, how do the deletion is happening actually? Is it from databases? It's a part of. Yeah, yeah. From uh, it will uh, get deleted from database. Sir. Okay. Sir, this is Vaishnav. E. Vaish. Okay, yeah, Vaishnav. Yeah. Sir, I am seeing just uh, the list of books, sir. I mean, mm -hmm. the heading only. Ah. Uh, Yeah, means you can see uh, the title. You mean to say, right? Hmm. I'm not able to see the title, sir. Title or the author name. The author name. Yeah. So you can uh, uh, okay do book uh, dot title the way you have done. Uh, sorry, book dot author 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 underscore name the attribute. So whichever book attribute you mention, it will show that. I think you have uh, mentioned book dot title, na? Sir, right? no, sir. Um, Can you share screen? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else with the same issue? Uh, most okay. probably, it is something with your HTML file. So please fix that before. Yeah, go to books. Dot HTML file. Sir, in the morning session, I created two super users. Is the way I can delete them? Okay. One of them. Yeah. So, in your admin, you can go to users, and okay. you can similarly delete. Okay, but probably you should not be deleting your own user. No, I will not be deleting, but just just for a academic angle. That is it a way to delete them? Yes, in admin dot py you can delete. Okay, sir. like you did with books. Mm, yeah, Vaishnav. Uh, 
what is the output you got uh, on the web browser list of books uh, refresh it and uh, he is not the same yeah nani so he is not entered books no acha he is not created have you entered ah uh, yes sir i have entered books sir can you show admin instead uh, of books one minute sir. one minute sir same same on the same page right okay fine books okay there are two objects mm, yeah can you uh, show your command uh, prompt mm, yeah uh, you can stop this control c okay can you show uh, open the file uh, books.html over here from you If it's already open, close it to avoid confusion. No yeah, notepad, notepad, notebook, notepad. No, it uh, no 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 no. It is not here. Yeah, it is in templates, na. No? templates uh, so cd library manager yeah yes two files are yes different files yeah cd library manager no 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 do cd library manager Nah, nah, nah. Don't go behind. Go ahead. CD templates, templates again. Do CD library manager. Yeah, do templates. Do the uh, yeah CD yeah. Now uh, do Notepad. Uh, yeah, huh. And uh, show this file. Enter. This is the file, sure. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay. okay, then can you uh, once show the views? Views dot. Hey, why? Any boss right now? You seem to. It is very very possible that you have two different books dot HTML files somewhere. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, sir. Well, you can run the server and check again once, and if it is not, then definitely uh, do from uh, the way we are doing now. From command prompt, open the Notepad and do. Maybe you have mixed up, but first try once again with run server and check uh, whether it's working. Okay, sir. Sure. So I'll I'll give you a simple way to detect this, right? If you go to the 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 same file that you showed us, right? The hmm. the all list of books, etc. Okay, uh, change it to change change list of books to list of uh, objects. As a matter, just just keep it, just change it, save it, hmm. and that static piece of static piece of text should then also change in in your output. Okay. So if that is not changing, that means you your your application is looking at another file, and you are looking at another file. Okay, sir. Sure. Uh, yeah. Every so, time we open the admin page. uh there is no password requirement should uh, is it okay because uh, you have not logged out no the session is still there not if logged out then it works uh, okay if i uh, if i do control c and then i'll try it uh, after and then again i run it run server then i'll be requiring the password no 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 yes. if you uh, then also uh, no no yeah the session will be still there uh yeah, i have entered so, only since morning and nothing has uh, it, it is not asking yeah if you do Correct. log out it will uh, it will not ask only after uh, it will ask for you only after to clear the sessions okay if you close the window i think by default uh, it will again ask maybe but uh, yeah log out is the thing otherwise it will maintain uh, preserve the uh, session for you 
so your authentication is determined by a session key that your browser maintains because you maintain the same tab and the same browser all this way uh, it doesn't ask you if you open firefox or another browser and then try to use the same url it'll again ask you for a login if you close the browser it'll again ask you for the login if you log out it'll again ask you for the login okay yeah sobhagya can share her screen maybe she is the only one left now then i think all have completed no now. sir uh, i have yes, a sir. doubt too sir yeah sangavi yeah Same sir uh, when i try to add a book sir um i get operational error sir why is that so sir maybe table is not created operational error means there is some database table uh, you have done migration make migrations yes. migrate yes not yes sir no so go back and try again operational okay, error sir. with uh, library manager underscore books not existent means yes, your sir. Uh. table was not created properly okay sir so run migrations pay attention to what the output comes as uh, if it is coming back as some python code error attribute error etc go back to your code have a look at models.py check if the spaces the uh, indentation is correct etc okay sir uh, but if your migration runs properly then you will get a you will get a output saying that this migration ran correctly or it will also tell you ki no no more changes like last time we were checking with uh, uh, pooja uh, it said that no more changes which means that all migrations have run correct correctly there are no more changes once okay, that sir. happens then go back to your admin and check again okay sir okay yeah abhishek you need to import book model then it will work on the top Sir, I did. No, no, no. Is this a big issue, right? In your yes, views, uh, yes. go to your views and import uh, the model book. So from dot models. From dot models, import book. On Then top, on go. top. So I can't. You have to type it. It's not written. You have to type. From, uh, yeah. Press enter. From space dot models because models is in current directory na right now space import which model we need we are we have created book space space book capital b yeah that's it now check run the server and check yeah Uh, you're done yes sir i got it sir this saubhagya actually i had uh, created the books.html in two different places so i deleted one <laughs> yeah yeah i have no okay sign no no worries yeah great you got it thank, thank you sir yeah thank you. okay abhishek you got it right great okay last i think one more only last who, who was the last one uh, sangavi i think something प्रथमेश सर मेरा मॉर्निंग का क्वेश्चन एक पेंडिंग है जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर अकाउंट के कंसर्न में मैंने आपसे पूछा था हाँ बोलो ना क्या बोलो सर मैंने इसमें एनाकोंडा नेविगेटर में बेस रूट से जब रन कर रही हूँ टर्मिनल ओपन कर रही हूँ तब भी वो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर का ही कमांड दे रहा है मुझे और जब मैंने वर्कशॉप का अलग से एनवायरनमेंट क्रिएट किया और फिर मैं टर्मिनल ओपन कर रही हूँ अगेन वो मुझे एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर का ही कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट दे रहे सीएमडी दैट इज फाइन दैट इज फाइन बट द इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग इज इज देयर वर्कशॉप रिटर्न द एनवायरनमेंट ब्रैकेट में वर्कशॉप आया था यस सर नहीं सर वहां पे कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट में नहीं आ रहा है इसीलिए uh, वो मुझे ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल दिखा रहा था Oh, so by uh, okay, every time it is taking your default root thing. You mean to say? Yes, mm. sir. Can you share your screen? I mean, like uh, let's. Uh, yes. Sir. Administrator, तो title bar में लिख के आ रहा है ना? आपका command वो काले वाले area में क्या लिख के आता है left side पे? Sir, कुछ भी नहीं आ रहा ना base लिखा हुआ आ रहा है ना workshop लिखा हुआ आ रहा है और क्योंकि मैंने पहले base के through कल करा था काम. तो आ, मैंने आपसे मॉर्निंग में क्वेश्चन भी पूछा था मैं वहां फर्स्ट गई थी तो जब प्रथमेश सर ने बताया और मैंने उसमें उसे एग्जीक्यूट करा तो वो दोनों में पैरल एग्जीक्यूट कर रहा था वो उसे डिफरेंट इन्वायरमेंट ट्रीट ही नहीं कर रहा 
Okay. You, uh, you can share your screen. Yes. Uh, yes. Can you stop and try again? Ah, yeah, yeah, now we can see. Now we can see. Yeah. Sir, I'm just clicking on the base route. So it's getting, yeah. Abhi base route environment, okay. All other things are closed right now. Means no CMD, nothing open, correct? Um, no, sir. Gun command prompt is open. Let me close that. Yeah, I think, uh, okay, you should, you should close this. Yes, sir. Now I am clicking on open terminal. Mm -hmm. uh, screen is visible. Mm, no, screen is visible, but I can't see the only I can see is the nav uh, Navanda navigator. Yes, sir. Is it visible? Yeah, fail to create temp directory. Uh, random some issues definitely there uh, is this uh, you're running as administrator right yes sir mm, can you uh, i'm trying to open with the workshop uh, then again this uh, type of command prompt yeah yeah sir. so you can close it exit you can type exit command yeah no, the same thing because uh, the, it is not able to uh, create a temp that shouldn't happen. That is the, I think, reason. Okay. Okay. Ka, can you uh, try? Yeah, open the menu. Sir, is it visible? Mm, yes, yeah, sir. now visible. Yeah, so but fail to create again temp. That is, I think, the issue maybe. Uh, so... So yeah, can you uh, exit this also? Exit this, close this. Yeah, can you close this na navigator also? Mm, yes. Okay, oh, screen share stop. Can you uh, share with the entire thing? So maybe. Yes. The, that's the only thing. Uh, some is not able to create them. So. So I reopen. Uh, How? Usko open karte ho. Go the admin is as an admin is option. Rega na run as admin. Wo karo. I'm sure uh, that can be the cause. Sir, वो ही करा हुआ है उसी उसी वजह से वो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर में ओपन कर रहा था अदरवाइज कल भी मैंने आपको बोला था कि अनापूर्णा नेविगेटर को एक्सेस करने में प्रॉब्लम आ रही थी वो इंस्टॉल ही नहीं करने दे रहा था तो जब रन एज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर किया उसके बाद ही वो दोनों टर्मिनल्स में मुझे एज ए एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर ही ओपन कर रहा था मैं सर मैं मेरा मेन कंसर्न ये है कि ये जो चीज हो रही है वो अभी इसमें मे बी इंस्टॉलेशन का कुछ इशू हो इस वजह से हो रही है अदरवाइज एनवायरमेंट में आपको अलग से इंस्टॉल करना पड़ेगा जैसे आज मॉर्निंग में आपने बताया था हां अलग करना ही पड़ेगा बिकॉज़ वो कंप्लीटली आइसोलेटेड एनवायरमेंट रहता है ना फ्रॉम योर सिस्टम एनवायरमेंट सो आप आपके सिस्टम में जो कुछ पैकेजेस है वो नहीं लेगा वो बेसिक ऑब्वियसली you have python mm -hmm. or uh, basic rahega bas so it will create a separate environment for you aur aapko install karna padega alag se by default nahi rahega ye yeah. so aap koi yeah. bhi process execute karne mein ya kaam karne mein kahi problem nahi aayi bas jab first time aapne bola tha wo command run karne ko ki version install hai ya nahi hai yeah. already aapka dikhaya aur already dikhaya remember in morning you said to yeah already dikhaya kyunki it is uh, it is fetching from the same thing that is uh, mm -hmm. that is some issue uh, obviously wo uh, system level pe issue hai maybe some permission issue definitely it is not able to create some temporary things to so, wo fail ho raha hai to by default to jo already installed packages hai wo le raha hai to basically uh, currently it is your one whole thing it is not a separate isolated thing and uh, mm -hmm. error bearer kuch nahi aayega aapke workflow mein kuch issue nahi aayega but uh, a good practice is we have a isolated virtual environment which is separate from the system to isiliye to aap kya karo uh, ek bar okay fir se uh, you can try okay uh, installing and trying it out so it it should work i i'm sure it is definitely related to some permission 
इट इज नॉट गेटिंग द परमिशन टू मैं आपसे कंफर्म करना चाह रही थी इसलिए आपसे पूछना चाह रही थी बिकॉज मेरे इसमें दोनों में उसमें पैरलर में रन भी हो रही थी कमांड फिर मैंने एक कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट को रन क्लोज करा हाँ दोनों में होगा ना क्योंकि वो शेयर हो गया ना अभी इट इज नॉट सेपरेट इट इज वन थिंग तो वो इट्स लाइक आप वो यूज करो ये एक ही बात है ऐसे हो रहा है सो दैट इज द थिंग बट नॉर्मली ऐसा नहीं होता है मैं री इंस्टॉल करके ट्राई कर या एंड विद द राइट परमिशन दैट द ओनली थिंग आई विल ओ टेम्प फोल्डर नहीं क्रिएट मींस इट इट डज नॉट हैव द परमिशन अगर मैं एनाकोंडा नेविगेटर को रन एज एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर भी करूंगी तो भी एनवायरनमेंट है वो वर्चुअल है वो आइसोलेटेड ही होंगे आइसोलेटेड ही होना चाहिए मींस उनमें कोई एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर की वजह से कोई इशू नहीं होता नहीं नहीं है एडमिनिस्ट्री देखो आप जो भी ऐप यूज करते हो ना एनी ऐप यू यूज इट इज नॉट ओनली अबाउट एनाकोंडा नेविगेटर कुछ भी आप यूज करते हो तो yes. अगर आप एडमिन होते हो ना तो आपको पर्टिकुलर डायरेक्टरी के राइट्स होते हैं समटाइम्स आपको फाइल राइट करना है कोई ऐप करता है yes. या कोई इंटरनेट से कुछ डाउनलोड करता है इट uh, और इंस्टॉल करने जाता है तो ओनली एडमिन कैन डू दैट सो अगर नॉर्मल यूजर रहेगा तो इट विल से नॉट अलाउड और कुछ एरर आ जाएगा ऐसे yes. ऐसे होता है तो इसीलिए परमिशंस आर क्वाइट इम्पोर्टेंट एडमिन लेवल यूजर इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर सच थिंग थिंक थिंक यू यू सो मच सर सो आई थिंक वी कैन लीव द मीटिंग इवन टू अटेंडीज थैंक यू फॉर अटेंडिंग थैंक यू फॉर योर कॉपरेशन आई थिंक वी कैन लीव नाउ इन केस यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज यू कैन सेंड दम बाई ई मेल एंड वील ट्राई टू आंसर दैम बट अदरवाइज थैंक यू फॉर फॉर बींगर